is a Bramble Jam podcast. It's Tuesday, November 3rd. Go vote, and then you know what you should do? Take the day off. We did a full throw it back in the yes. ocean fishing bit. Um, sitting down. Are you? <laughs> this is uh, this set is really cramping our dancing style. Are you? Uh, are you? Uh, are you a throw it back kind of guy? Uh, yeah. I, no, I, if I'm fishing, I'm fishing to eat, man. That's right. To teach a man to fish. Just fish for a lifetime. <laughs> Give a man a fish, then you're a communist. <laughs> you know the saying. Um, speaking so, of communists, so <laughs> happy election day, everybody. Uh-huh. How we doing? Doing well. <laughs> Have we descended to full third world country to where after our uh, democratic elections, there's going to be riots? Only one way to find out. Stay tuned. That's exactly right. Uh, also, stay tuned tonight for um, uh, hour to hour, minute to minute uh, election coverage. Brandon Dan going live. That's right. Post uh, election, the election game wrap up. The election game wrap up. Election we've day got, wrap up. We will do a, a full post election show for you guys live. We've got all the uh, pundits um, That's right. that couldn't get on any of the channels. That's right. Uh, <laughs> including Jamie Michaels. Jamie, Jamie Michaels. you there? Oh, I'm here. <laughs> Jamie, give us that quick buzz that you're hearing. Okay, there's electorates. There's states, they vote, and you don't know what's going to happen. But Iowa's in play. Iowa is in play. I don't know how Jamie didn't get get picked up by anybody. I don't either. He seems like a natural fit for CNN. Uh, we got Cornell. Corey? Cornell, you there? Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> Cornell, give me that buzz. I disagree with Michael Jameson. <laughs> no, Iowa, not in play. Iowa's never been in play. There's no play in Iowa. There's serious business in Iowa. Um. And also Tracy. Tracy? Tracy. Hi, everyone. Now, Tracy, you produce all of our shows, but you moonlight as a political pundit. I, nobody knows more about the news and the politics than I. Give us your quick hot take. I know the election has not is not over yet, but give us your quick hot take. It's election day today? Yes. But um, I guess it's going well. Okay. You sound like you're very prepared. Yes, I, yeah. I had a I had a meal with a USPS person the other day. A, a, a just a worker from the postal service. Yes. Okay. Um, it was he also is the lead singer of Death Cab for Cutie. <laughs> <laughs> just took a side that's a, uh, a postal service bit for I, you guys yeah. out there. The lead singer Working of Death some Cab Snow Patrol, if you could. Uh, no, well, the lead the, 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 this is the layers here. The lead singer of Death Cab had a side project called the Postal Service. So. Good stuff. There you go. Mm. Uh, <laughs> do we just... Take the day off, everybody. Take the day off. If you're uh, not taking the day off for election day, I don't know what's wrong with you. We right. should be taking the day off. That's true. But it is 5 a.m. here. Once we finish the, here... The polls have not even opened. The polls are not open yet. Don't right. worry. Uh, but go vote, everybody. Go vote. I go think vote. we can all agree there. Um, or, you know, did hopefully you did it already. Wow, yeah, whatever maybe you, you voted do. already. Maybe Millions have. Millions Good for have. you. Hey, it's uh, a big day. Uh, go, go vote, and then go home and make yourself a sandwich. I'm just telling you right now, if you can't take the day off today between voting and National Sandwich Day, right. then you are working too hard. You're working too hard. You're it's not good for anybody. Your nose is too close to that grindstone. Yeah. I just heard from President Trump. President Trump. 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 He said he's feeling real good. You talked to him at 5 a.m. Yes. You did. Yeah. I don't believe you. His name was President Trump. Yeah. I'm still... Said it on his license. President, first name, last name, Trump. Said all that on a license plate. No. You saw his car. Driver's license. You saw his driver's license. Hey, you guys, it's President Trump. Oh, is it? <laughs> Are you, you're the president of the United States? I never said that. Okay, My first that's name, what I president, thought. last name, Trump. That nice is, to meet yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew that there was some sort of loophole here that we were not quite getting to. Yeah, well, what can you do? 
Legal names, legal names. Uh, Satchel Sandwich Day. Last night, I... Uh, satchel Sandwich Day? Uh, <laughs> put a sandwich in your satchel and you go, go, go. Uh, satchel Sandwich Day. Last night, I was making myself a real nice hoagie. Uh, no one kind of... I like to anticipate and embark yeah. on the day a little bit early just to kind of get ready so I can talk about it, get pumped. Uh, I was making myself a nice hoagie. And, um, you know, I know... I I I I know that it is uh, no longer okay to talk about the Cosby Show, but <laughs> I did go to the Cosby Show school of hoagie making. Uh, he has a great is a great scene of them making hoagies, and I just uh, what I'm what I'm getting at here is awful human, but a great hoagie maker, and I <laughs> made this hoagie last night. And while I was making it, I was putting the meat on and it was going great. And then I splashed some oil and vinegar Mm. on it. And I looked at the oil and vinegar just to see the expiration date because, uh, you know, Lord knows. Yeah, with vinegar especially. Lord knows. (laughs) I'm still good for another 25. Uh, (laughs) But right above it, it said Best Buy. Dan knows about National Sandwich Day, and then it had the date. And I saw that to be a very interesting thing. You saw that to be very interesting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're nailing this. Do you? So the Cosby Show thing went nowhere, aside from he used to make hoagies on the show. He, there is a very famous scene yes. where he teaches you how to make hoagies. All I was saying is I learned how to make hoagies from the Cosby Show. I'm and, sorry for making it weirder than it needed to be. Oh, you did. You did that. Well, weirder still, Sandwich Day has very little to do with actual sandwiches. It has to do with the sand witches of <laughs> what? The sand witches of New Mexico. Of course. These are people that lived in sandy areas and practiced witchcraft. Now, I know you're thinking yesterday we talked about Satanists, and today we're talking about witches. Is there a post-Halloween theme? I'm sorry. The stories are the stories. There's nothing I can do about that. Right. But these sand witches would live in just sand huts Uh, and they would go uh, nomadically from desert to desert uh, living uh, amongst the other sandwiches and uh, they would bother people in the town only when they needed water because there's not much water in the desert and so uh, finally uh, the mayor of New Mexico at the time Dom DeLuise he said that he was going to make a national sandwich day So that on that day, the sandwiches could move freely about the town to get their water and then go back into their hiding into the sand. That day caught on nationwide, even though there aren't deserts nationwide. And that is why we have National Sandwich Day. Nothing to do with the bread and meat combo that we're going to talk about today. But I think that's why people celebrate. Sometimes it doesn't matter what the actual, like, today's election day. Are people actually voting? I don't know. Yes. Um, So I will say. It's better than the Cosby show. (laughs) It. All I'm saying is I think a lot of people learn how to make hoagies from the Cosby mm. show. And I was, uh, mm. I was just saying what I was saying. Okay. I'm not proud of it. Um, history of national sandwich day, Dan, I think you're incorrect. This is very clearly a day about sandwiches, celebrating sandwiches and all mm. that good stuff. It has nothing we to do with wires crossed there. It has nothing to do with witches in the sand. Show prep this morning. Not great. Yes. Let's be honest. Um, Hey, but here's what we, I, I don't actually know how this day got started. We know the history of the sandwich. You know the history of the sandwich. Yeah, of course. The Earl and all that good Ur, stuff. Yeah, Earl the sandwich. Earl sandwich. That's right. Um, did you know uh, that he asked, in 1762, the Earl, who was fond of gambling, asked the cook to prepare him a meal that wouldn't require um, uh, any forks, knives, anything like that. Um because he didn't want to interfere with his 24 hour long gambling streak. Yeah. And so the no, cook classic. gave him this sliced meat between two pieces of toast, which allowed the Earl to have one hand free to continue to gamble. It's important. And so I think, in honor of Earl, we should gamble today. We should gamble today. Okay. We, you should go back to 1762. You should take the day off, do a little betting. Eat a sandwich. Eat a sandwich. Put some money down on something. That's exactly right. Um, and so I think that's what I'm going to do today. Yeah, me too. I'm going to bet on um, some e-games. E-games. Uh, e-games. Oh, oh, yeah. You know, e-games. I love a good e-game. What are you going to bet on? Maybe a, maybe a baseball game or two. Maybe a baseball game or two? Yeah. What about a whole series? A whole series. Now, that series is already over, but... You think so? I'm going to maybe an e-series. Yes. Yeah? Yes. At this point. 
for is sure. Is it over? It is over. Yeah. How about that? Yeah, I've been for a while now. Really? Yeah. Wow. A while? Yeah. I yeah don't probably know. at least a week. You think so? Yeah, I do. No, I don't think so. Okay. Um, let's take a quick break because we asked everybody yesterday about uh, kind of their go-to sandwich if they have any secret ingredients to mm, spice I've got it plenty. up a little I bit. i got plenty. So we're going to get to that in just a second. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back here on Take the Day Off. I do want to make oh. it clear, like, I can't even watch the Cosby show anymore. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not enjoyable. But you thought it would be great to bring it up because when you think hoagies, you think Cosby. Yes, and I think a lot of people do. The bacon burger dog. Yes. Another, another classic. <laughs> the bacon burger, burger dog. dog. I don't, yeah, guys, what do you, what do you I, am, I am so sorry. Yes. Like, awful, awful human. The worst. The worst. But great sandwich maker. Rudy. <laughs> Hey, we asked you guys yesterday uh, about your go-to sandwich. Yeah. And we got a lot of great answers. This is making me hungry. Dan, I do a deviled egg. They didn't do it for you. Deviled egg. They did not uh, do it for I do want to know, what's your go-to sandwich, Dano? Man, I got to be honest. I could talk about sandwiches all day. I love sandwiches. I love hot sandwiches. I love cold sandwiches. I love whatever infinity just happened there. <laughs> um, but also, if I'm making a sandwich at home, here's what here's what's going to be. It's going to be a cold sandwich. I'm going to get a hoagie roll from the store. None of this two pieces of bread nonsense. I want something to catch everything in the bottom, okay? I'm going to get um, some pepper jack cheese. You could go provolone cheese. Um, I'm going to go to the, the deli. I'm going to get some roast beef. Uh, you know, like maybe a London broil would be really nice. I'm going to get some sandwich pepperoni. Stay with me. I know. Uh, hoagie roll. Spicy mustard. Cheese on the bottom. Roast beef, pepperoni slices layered on top of each other. Then I'm going shredded lettuce. It's important because it's cold and crunchy. No leaf lettuce. Shredded lettuce. And then I'm going oil, olive oil, extra oil. virgin olive uh, oil. oil. Sorry, I went full south there for a second. Uh, red wine vinegar, salt, pepper, oregano, a little bit of uh, just a dash of Frank's hot sauce, some jalapenos on there, or some pickles, like some dill pickles if you'd rather have them. And boy, that dog will hunt. I'm just telling you right now, I'm hungry just thinking about it. That is my go-to sandwich, roast beef and pepperoni. You may never have heard of it. It's delicious. And my other key for sandwiches, and this is going to fly in the face of most, a lot of things that we see here uh, on the answers. You take the turkey for your sandwich and you throw it out. <laughs> You never make a turkey sandwich because it's just bland. Turkey is bland and the worst. I get it yeah. if you're trying to lose weight. Aside from that, don't eat a turkey sandwich. I hate turkey sandwiches. And it's not because they taste bad. They just don't taste like anything. They just taste like the condiments that you put on there. So I'm out on turkey sandwiches. Aside from that, I'm pretty much all in on sandwiches. What does surprise you? You're uh, not a big cold sandwich guy. I'm not a big cold sandwich guy. Philly cheesesteak. I do like a Philly cheesesteak. Yeah. My go-to sandwich, though, is actually a corned beef sandwich. Ooh, I love a good corned beef sandwich. Yeah, it's actually my go-to sandwich. Pastrami, corned beef. Mm -hmm. I'm in for all that. Mm -hmm. I also put mustard on corned beef sandwich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I, yesterday I said exclusive to brats and, you're and wrong. sausages, yeah. and I am wrong. I get but the I feeling think if you is, would put it on other things, you'd actually like well, it. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but I don't do any secret secret ingredients or anything like that. I'm mm. not I'm not that fancy. Hey, we asked our listeners yesterday about it. Uh, Dan, what you got, pal? What are you seeing? Um, salami is the secret ingredient, according to Elizabeth. <laughs> uh, and salami is great. I, I could put. I love a good Italian sub: ham, salami, pepperoni, some maybe some capicola or prosciutto. I'm in. I'm, I'm in for that for sure. Um, I I uh, Lori says grilled cheese. And Lori, I can I am a really good grilled cheese maker. There's not many things that I'm good at yeah. in the kitchen. I don't believe you. It's really good. Really? It's really good. My wife's grilled cheese sandwiches are unreal good. Uh, let's do a man. cooking competition. Me against it. your wife. Yeah, that's not going to go well for you. I'm telling you, man. I I do I do good. I do yeah. good. Uh Megan I do good. says uh that her all-time favorite sandwich is the hot salami from Joe's Deli in St. Louis and I've had that sandwich and it is delicious um i also like a place up there called the blue city deli it's very very good if it's still around up in st louis i totally get that julie c says turkey and swiss with a little mayo toasted lettuce and avocado mm, yeah i don't know those are things i don't i don't know there's a lot of people on here that put peanut butter and jelly wow and i like a good peanut butter and jelly 
uh, sandwich. Uh, I would never turn one down. But I do find it an interesting sandwich to say that it's your favorite sandwich of all the sandwiches. I think I would normally pick a, a meat Sammy over. You know what's crazy is jam. over, I think five people have said turkey. And almost all of them have said avocado with that turkey. And <sighs> at that point, like you're just, you're, you're making an avocado sandwich and turkey just has the texture you're looking for, I guess. Um, several BLTs. Okay. A sure. BLT, as long as I have homegrown tomatoes, uh, people love a good down South. We just have tomato mayonnaise sandwiches, which talk about making your stomach turn, but people down South will just make some pepper, salt and pepper, tomato, mayonnaise on two pieces of bread they'll eat it i don't um, like blts because by the time i'm done with them it is essentially a bacon sandwich yeah 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 so <clears throat> which is fine yeah but you're not getting your money's worth that's no, no, for no, no, sure no, no, no. if yeah, you're yeah, going yeah. out and buying one yeah. uh jane says a grilled peanut butter and strawberry never jam sandwich strawberry jam I, i've never butter. done a grilled i've never done one of those pb and j and so intrigued by it um vanessa says ham am cheese ham and cheese i'm guessing salami lettuce and tons of red wine vinegar yes i yeah, I, I am uh mm. relatively new to the red wine vinegar club Dude. as of a few years have you not had it on a sandwich before? no i have okay. i'm new i'm new to i just oh, started, started doing it a few years oh ago and it's so good it, game changer it, i vinegar is a secret ingredient i think in a lot of things oh my gosh i french am a fries? huge fan of vinegar and french yes fries. malt vinegar bring it man um how about ham and Anna says ham and cheese or turkey, the bread, it's all in the bread. I, I do think that we don't emphasize the bread enough because bad bread on a sandwich. So true. Like just like standard wheat bread sandwiches. I don't want any part of those. Um, I want good bread for my sandwiches. You know, it's very the important. bread that is a secret here in Greenville is the stuck of bread. You, St you, oh. you use that. Dude, I, there's a sandwich in town at the kitchen sink. It's a pork bond, uh, roasted pork bond me on the stack of bread. It's my favorite sandwich in Greenville. It's wow. so good. Wow. But I don't want the secret to get out. So if you're in Greenville, go, but don't go when I go. Yeah, just kind of stay away for <laughs> a little right. bit if you yeah. don't mind. Uh, we did it, everybody. We did it. Sandwich day. Who can be upset about that? Nobody. Who can be upset about Nobody. that? Uh, tomorrow, we want to know what is something that you think is common sense that others don't seem to grasp. Mm, so many things. So many things. <laughs> so many things. Gosh, you're the worst. <laughs> uh, common sense is uh, tomorrow we're talking about that. We're going to leave you to Palaha coup. Everybody, go vote if you haven't. Vote, 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 vote. Um, Stay tuned for that coverage tonight. Stay tuned. Uh, Trace is uh, gearing up. She is she interviewing is everybody. Everybody. I just interviewed Mitt Romney. Yeah, is this a licensed situation? M Mitt Romney. The, oh, Mitt Romney. Okay. Found him on LinkedIn. Found him on LinkedIn. Sent him a quick messy. <laughs> And he's in. He's in. in. Wow, we, we got Mitt Romney, everybody. All right, guys, this is Mitt Romney. How hey, you doing? doing all right, Mitt. How about you? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. How do you think election's going? Which country? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back tomorrow. I'll take the day off. Are you... <laughs> <laughs> I just don't get it. Bran does not do the Palahaku's very well in my open <laughs> take the day off everybody <laughs> have a great day <laughs> <laughs>